Hi, Patrick Phillip here at Effective Martial Arts HQ in Pointe Claire, West Island, Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And in this lesson, how to get up from the ground in a fight safely using the technical get up. All right, so the technical get up is part of the foundational techniques that you should learn and master when you begin your martial arts or self-defense training. It's essential to be able to transition from the ground to your feet safely, and if you don't do it correctly, you are exposing yourself to many different uh, variety of attacks, either striking or grappling based. So we've been teaching this technique for a long time to a wide variety of students from different backgrounds, uh, all ages and fitness levels, and we've noticed some uh, very common mistakes that a lot of people do uh, that we need to emphasize and that you should as well if you are an instructor or coach. So here we go. Uh, the best way to begin practicing these techniques, first is to illustrate the concept. So if we're on the ground here, uh, we have a general preference to uh, be seated because in this case, we're one step closer to getting up. We, if we are on the ground, uh, we saw this in the seven basic grappling postures. If we're on the ground here, our legs are tight, we're protected, we wanna be able to turn, we wanna be able to transition to all the other positions, and we wanna be able to go easily to our seated position like so. It's quite easy, you just throw your legs forward and you post on your hand, or you can also go from elbow here to the head. Once you're in a seated position, what happens if you have somebody standing in front of you over here, you have potentially exposing your face to different strikes, so if you bring your face forward here, you can get hit by punches, kicks, or knees, or if the person is more of a grappler, you could just grab your head with a guillotine and choke you out. So what you wanna do is you wanna move your body backwards without moving your head forward. So transitioning body over here, head did not move forward, and then ready to stand up. In order to be able to do so, the tricky part is to get your leg in between your posting leg and your posting hand. So this movement here, getting your leg under your base like this. This requires a little bit of strength in the arm, shoulder, the core, so it can be challenging uh, for beginners. So you do want to have a complete fitness training program as well. So check out, by the way, our body weight fitness uh, resistance training program in the cards above. Um, but if you're teaching that technique, that can also serve as a body conditioning exercise to help students get stronger. So the way we teach it at the beginning, very uh, simple and easy to understand for most people, even with absolutely no experience. So we're gonna start, we're gonna reverse engineer the technique. So we're gonna start standing, and then we're gonna go to low stance over here. So we're just gonna lower level, and ideally bring our hips same height as the knees, so a nice deep squat position. At this point, we're gonna be able to put one hand on the ground, and you notice this looks a lot familiar. This hand protects against possible strikes or possible grabs. And from here, we're simply gonna go all the weight on the hand and the foot and slide our foot underneath our body so they wind up in the seated position on the ground. Now that might even be challenging for certain people if they're really not in great shape when they're starting. So we're gonna make it even easier. So from here, instead of going down here, here and push the leg straight, we're gonna take a break here with the knee on the ground. So basically a modified combat base here. So here, and then from the combat base, shoot a leg under to wind up again in the seated position. Now, key details about when you post your leg. So you want your students to be able to do it uh, fluidly, back and forth. So we're here, we're here, slide the leg, boom, get back. You wanna be able to do that correctly. To do it correctly, very important detail, you want your lower back to be straight. Common mistake is to have the lower back round like this or having the hips too high. So your center of gravity is gonna to be too high, your head is low, you're not in a very athletic position, it's hard to defend from here. It's easier on the legs, but it's not as advantageous. So you gotta strengthen those legs, work on the hip joint flexibility and the strength and endurance of the legs so you can maintain a nice low stance. From here to so here, lower back straight, protecting here, Bring the leg under, seated position, back to this. And we really spend a lot of time in class drilling just that transition. We want our students to be able to go from here, back and forth, back and forth, because that's the hard part, that's the sticking point. Here, here. Also, you want your foot to go behind your head. Common mistake as well is the students bring their foot kind of like here. Sometimes they bring it kind of weirdly in the back over here, and then you have no base, and you're gonna push back down. So you want to be able to bring your foot all the way behind here. 
behind the head, like this. And you want to be able to do that on both sides. Nice and low, back straight, here, base, shoot in, bring back. Shoot in, bring back, relax. And make sure when you land here, you're in a nice athletic position. So your knees are above your toes, lower back is straight, good base, framing, protecting the arm, looking at our imaginary opponent, and ready to transition. From here, it's easy to get back up. But doing this variation here on the ground will really help us students integrate those details and be able to eventually apply it under pressure. So a couple of variations on this drill that you can do, so you can go from this neutral position here and do it on both sides. One here and then switch and go on the other side. And then do that faster and faster. Here, here, here even. Eliminating pause, just go straight side to side like this. You can add a step as well. This is advantageous uh, under pressure in a real situation. From the seated, instead of just bringing this leg here, push off this front leg and add some distance as you move backwards. Here, push off the support leg, create distance, so you get up this way. You can also even go, uh, we call it spider spins, so 360 around. That's another very good core exercise to understand the base. So here, hands, boom. Shoot it in, and then we're gonna go to our back crab position. And then the opposite hand and foot go up, and we pass this leg under, here, here. Here, and we keep on turning. Go slowly at first, but faster if you can. And then you go to the other side. Go here, boom, 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 boom. Here, 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 here. And then again, faster. Cold drill. So there you have it guys, the technical getup, one of the foundational movements that you should really take the time to master if you're beginning your martial arts or self-defense training. So you can develop your agility in the grappling range, being able to transition quickly and effortlessly from a seated or supine position all the way back up to your feet, which offers you in general more options until you develop your ground game where you sometimes want to stay on the bottom to execute your attacks. Uh, it's generally more advantageous to be uh, standing, especially if you're facing more than one opponent and some Sometimes the best option is to just run away, but in order to do so, you need to get back up to your feet. Now, to be able to do that, you also need to be able to retain your guard. We're gonna do more videos on that uh, later. But again, this is the foundational techniques. You really wanna take the time to master this first. And when you have those basic movements down and you don't need to think about it anymore when you're executing them, your body just knows it, that frees up your conscious mind to think about other techniques, think about strategies, and uh, really uh, improve your game that way. So um, if you have any questions, guys, comment below, like, subscribe, share, as always. Uh, we always have a blast uh, doing these videos for you and really excited. We've got lots of good content coming your way in every range of fighting. So we've got striking, wrestling, and grappling, and that's the whole idea of effective martial arts, one curriculum for striking, wrestling, and grappling in one structured system. So till next time, I'm Patrick Phillip here at Effective Martial Arts HQ in Point Claire, West Island of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Thank you very much for watching. Practice well.